In Group C, there's Porto, Man City, Olympiacos, and Marseille. Two-time European champions Porto are back in the competition after missing the tournament last season. The current Portuguese champs are managed by Sergio Conceição, who himself came through the youth ranks at Porto. Currently in his fourth year at the helm, he would be hoping that experienced players like Tiquinho Suarez, Musa Morega, Pepe and Jesus Corona bring their A-game to the tournament this season. Porto has also added depth and strength to their squad with the Premier League imports of Felipe Anderson, Marco Gruwich and Malang Saw. Also keep an eye out for the exciting Colombian talent Luis Diaz as Porto look to impress this season. Manchester City are back again for a 10th straight season after placing second in the English Premier League and successfully overturning the two-year UEFA ban. With Serial winner Pep Guardiola still in charge, it's still unfinished business in the Champions League when it comes to Manchester City. With David Silva now gone and Sergio Aguero constantly struggling with injury, players like Kevin De Bruyne, Riyad Mahrez, Raheem Sterling and Gabriel Jesus would need to inspire Manchester City to more than just another quarterfinal exit. Goalkeeper Edison, Emmerich Laporte, Ruben Diaz and Nathan Ake would all need to be impermeable this season to prevent the further grain of whatever hair Pep Guardiola has left. Would we get more of the same from City or would this be their year? Greek champs Olympiakos are back again for yet another Champions League season and are hoping to be one of the surprise packages in the tournament. The manager Pedro Martins would be banking on the talents of Yusuf El Arabi, Matteo Valbuena, Ruben Semedo and Elabi Sudani who all boast tons of UCL and international experience. Olympiacos will also be boosted by the additions of former Bayern Munich right back Rafinha, Ruben Vinagra, Bruma and Jan Mvila. And I highly doubt that the Greek outfit would be a pushover in this group. Winners of the inaugural edition of the Champions League, Marseille are back after a six-year hiatus from the competition. Currently managed by Andrew Villas boas Marseille would be hoping to do just more than enjoy the ride. Key players include veteran goalkeeper Steve Mandanda, Dimitri Paye, Florian Tovan, Bubaka Kamara and Morgan Sanson. Also keep an eye out for the new Brazilian wonder kid Luis Henrique for that added element of surprise. So as for my prediction for Group C, this one is gonna be a little bit of a surprise to you because in fourth position, I'm gonna go with the Portuguese team Porto. I'm mixing it up a bit here. Porto, I think... Mm, they look light. They look light. And the fact that they made all those loan deals on deadline day, it looks like they're desperate. Seriously. Gruwich, Felipe Anderson, Malang Saw, all players, you don't really know what's going on. They, they're kind of in limbo with their club. So, desperate. And I don't think, listen man, Porto ain't doing a damn thing in this group i'm gonna make the call right now it might be controversial but i don't want to be boring so i'm gonna go for porto to come in fourth third in this group surprise surprise i'm gonna go for olympiacos they're gonna make it to the europa league and i know most people would have olympiacos coming in fourth but last season in a very very tough group where Bayern Munich just smashed everybody, including Tottenham, Olympiacos stood tall and they represented themselves very well. And I think they're going to be a thorn in the side for City, Marseille and Porto. So I have them coming in third. And now for the surprise package in second, I'm going to go for Marseille. I know a lot of you guys weren't expecting me to put Marseille second. But they are going to be one of the surprise teams this season. Mark my word. Andre Velash Bowash is going to work his magic. That didn't come out too right though. Andre Velash Bowash. But I'm going to go for Marseille to come in second here. Some Dimitri Paye magic. Florian Tovan to dazzle. Guys like Bubaka Kamara to impress. And we're going to see... Uh, Few other players strut their stuff this season. So Marseille 
to come in second. And the fact that Leon gives City so much trouble, I think Marseille just might do the same. They might. They just might. And coming in first in the group, Manchester City. Over the recent seasons, they always top their group. It's very difficult to beat Man City in the group phases. But for some strange reason, whenever they're in the knockouts, they're one of the easiest teams to beat. So Pep Guardiola, he's going to play some very strong rotated teams in the group phase. And he's going to topple these teams, maybe pick up a loss or a draw or two. But he will come out on top eventually to face a second place team in the round of 16 beat them and maybe go to the quarterfinals and get knocked out by a team he should beat again 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 and again and again broken record manchester city you guys could sense the passion right you could sense the passion right but city to come in first in the group it, 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 it'll be i i think it's gonna be a, uh i think it's gonna be pretty much routine with a little trouble here and there. Same old city. But that's my group C predictions. Let me know yours in the comment section down below. Let's move on to group D.